Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. Thank you. Straight. Straight. Mr. Woodfork's first breed is a Doberman Pinscher. The Doby is named after its developer, Louis Doberman, and appeared in Germany in the late 1800s. Originally, the Doberman was bred for fierceness, but our Doby today is an exceptionally loyal and stable dog, with, by the way, strong protective instincts okay. if needed. So <laughs> it's Congratulations. Okay, down and back, please. Doberman Pinscher. Thank you, pick him around. The German Pinscher. The German Pinscher was admitted to the working group in 2003. They are energetic, agile, alert, and intelligent. This dog makes an excellent watchdog and a great family companion as well. Congratulations. Show me the mouth, please. Thank you very much. Okay, down and back. German Pinscher. <laughs> Round to the end, please. The Black Russian Terrier. The Black Russian Terrier is a large and powerful dog, a loyal companion that is highly intelligent and very dominant in nature. The breed was developed in Russia in the 1950s. They are excellent and reliable companions with proper socialization and obedience. But it's not a good dog for the first time dog owner. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. Stay. Thank you. Take your dog down and back, please. Thank you, sir. Have a good time. Black Russian yes. Terrier. Around, please. The 
the giant schnauzer. This breed appeared in Germany in the late 1800s. It was almost certainly a herding dog at first, but it became popular as a guard or watchdog as he is today. Congratulations. Thank you. Show me the mouth. Absolutely. Thank you. Good boy. Good boy. Down and back, please. Giant Schnauzer. Round to the end, please. The standard schnauzer. Of the three schnauzer sizes, giant, standard, and miniature, this is the standard prototype. At least as far back as the Middle Ages, this was the typical stable dog in Germany, where he was known as a ratter, for that indeed was his full-time assignment. Show me the mouth, please. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Down the back, please. Right, nice and easy. Standard Schnauzer. Take one, please. The Rottweiler. The Rottweiler has been a cattle driver and guard dog. It arrived in Germany centuries ago with the Roman legions. The Rottweiler is a fine, loyal companion of immense power and determination. But it should be noted, owners of Rottweilers should be just as Hello. determined. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <coughs> Down and back, please. Okay, take him around, please. Take him around. Bernice Mountain Dog. This gentle breed was brought into Switzerland by the Romans a couple thousand years ago. It has emerged as the most popular working dog in Switzerland. He is exceptionally intelligent and is a perfect family dog. Oh, sorry about that. Show me the mouth, please. Down and back, please. Bernice Mountain Dog. Yeah. 
Run to the end, please. Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. Until quite recently, these great dogs were thought to be extinct, but efforts to salvage this breed were very successful. These giants are calm, sensible, and loyal, and are easily trained by skilled owners. On the back, please. Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. Good boy. Round to the end, please. This is a typical dog of the north. The prick ears, full coat, and curly bush tail mark it well. It is built for heavy sledding. There are similar breeds in many parts of the Arctic world, but none is more powerful than this gentle giant. As the breed's name implies, he is a native of Alaska. Congratulations. Thank you. Show them out, please. Thank you. Down the back, please. Alaskan Malibu. <laughs> Round to the end, please. Siberian Husky. The Siberian has been a sled pulling dog in Siberia for centuries. He is alert, intelligent, and takes to training very well. The Siberian is still in use today in sled racing and is a good all round companion dog. Congratulations. Thank you. Show me the bag, please. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Down and back, please. Siberia. <laughs> Round to the end, please. Samoyed. The Samoyed originated, originated in Siberia. It almost certainly looks now how much it did a couple thousand years ago. They are typically very pleasant dogs, but do require a great deal of exercise, preferably in the snow at least part of the year. Congratulations. Thank you. Show me the Thank you. Down the back, please. <coughs> Semi. Yeah. Yeah. 
Round to the end, please. In Japan, the Akita has been used for guard work, vaguely referred to as police dogs. The first Akita arrived in America in 1937, and he was a gift to Helen Keller from the Japanese government. Show me the mouth, please. Thank you. Down and back, please. Akita. Round to the end, please. The boxer, he's called the boxer because of the way he uses his front paws when he gets into a scrap. This breed is recognized as a fine, alert companion dog for any family, particularly one with children. Show me the mouth, please. Stay. Stay. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Down and back, please. Boxer. Round to the end, please. And here he is, folks, the state dog of Pennsylvania. The Great Dane is a true giant of the Mastiff line. The breed first appeared in America in the late 19th century and he has emerged as a first-rate companion animal. Brindle, fawn, blue, black, black and white, How known as sir? harlequin How and are mantle, are all permissible Thank colors. You. Some of them out. Yes, please. sir. Thank you. Oops, I'm sorry. All right, down and back, please. Young Leon, I need you right here, please. With me. Great Dane. Take him around, please. Take him around. Let's do it. Here. Bull Mastiff. A little over a century ago, a dog evolved in England known as the Gamekeeper's Night Dog. Today's Bull Mastiff is a fine companion animal and is protective of its master's property. And by the way, he will react appropriately if his family is threatened. 
I'm gonna mouth, please. Thank you. Down and back, please. Four master. Down to the end, please. The Mastiff. Folks, this is one of the most important breeds in existence. He is a mainstream dog that helped create uncounted breeds tonight. He may have originated in Tibet thousands of years ago. Look at this Mastiff Hello. and you are seeing the beginning of the Bulldog, Boxer, Great Dane, Bull Mastiff, St. Bernard, Newfoundland, and many, many other breeds. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Down the back, please. The Master. <laughs> Round to the end, please. Tibetan Mastiff, noble and impressive. The Tibetan Mastiff is large, powerful, and well-built. He has been used primarily as a family and pro property guardian for many millennia, and he is aloof and great as a watchdog. They're highly protective of their family and property. Show me the mouth, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks, sir. Stop. Down the back, please. Tibetan Master. to the end, please. The Neapolitan Master. The Neo is the estate guard dog of Italy. Its roots go back to the war dogs used by the Romans. He's an ancient breed rediscovered in Italy in the 1940s by the American GIs. By the way, folks, if you're not afraid of a little drool, this might be the dog for you. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. Show me the mouth. Thank you. Thank you. Good girl. Down and back, please. Neapolitan master.
On to the end, please. Dogo in Argentino. The Dogo Argentino is a pack hunter of great strength and intelligence. They are friendly, cheerful, and humble. And they'll also take down wild boar and puma. That's what they were bred for originally. This breed must only be white and is the national dog of Argentina. Stop. Thank you. Down and back, please. <laughs> Dogo Argentino. Round to the end, please. Cane Corso. The Cane Corso is an ancient Italian breed imported to the United States in 1988. He's highly intelligent and easily trained. This working dog is docile and affectionate with family as well as friends. Show me the mouth, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Down and back, please. Cane Corso. Round to the end, please. Dog de Bordeaux. This breed is among the most ancient of purebred dogs, could often be found guarding the vineyards or butcher shops in France. They were also used for hunting large game, such as bear and even wild boar. It wasn't until 1960 that this breed made its first appearance here at the Kennel Club of Philadelphia. Hello. Hello there. Congratulations. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Down and back, please. Dog de Bordeaux. <laughs> Round to the end, please. The Portuguese Water Dog. The Portuguese Water Dog has been known for centuries in his native Portugal, but as late as 1968, there were only 25 of these animals here in America. This is an intelligent dog, very willing. They are forever youthful, and it is a fact that he'll act like a five-year-old child for the rest of his life. Thank you. Down the back, please.
Portuguese water dog. Round to the end, please. The Newf Newfoundland. The Newfoundland is thought to have originated several hundred years ago in the Canadian province whom is named after. He is powerful in the water and is often raised to be a net and sled puller. As well, of course, as a rescue dog of great reputation. He's also Oregon's Some state mouth, dog. Please. Thank you. Down the back, please. Excuse me. Newfoundland. No, 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 don't touch him. You can walk him up a little bit. All right, take him around, please. Leon Berger. The Leon Berger is a large, muscular, and elegant dog distinguished by a black mask with males carrying a lion-like mane. He is an excellent family companion for its size, and he's very light and graceful on its feet. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Show me the please. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Down and back, please. Leon Berger. Round to the end, please. The St. Bernard. This gentle giant gets its name from the Hospice of St. Bernard in the Swiss Alps. These great dogs were taken into the Alps centuries ago and bred by monks as rescue dogs to find people lost in the passes or caught in avalanches. The St. Bernard is even tempered and well mannered. He is the superior companion animal for families with abundant space. By the way, folks, this is my favorite breed. Down and back, please. The St. Bernard. Thank you. Take him around, please. Great Pyrenee. The Great Pyrenee is the ancient dog of outstanding intelligence and bravery. It is said that General Lafayette bought the first pair to the New World in 1824. Today, the breed provides fine, dignified companion animals 
but is preferably maintained on larger than average property. Some of the mouth, please. Down and back, please. Tyranny. Round to the end, please. The Commodore. This is the star of car washes everywhere. For centuries, the Commodore was a guard dog and herder's sheep. The long, profuse coat develops cord-like tassels when this animal is about two years old, and it becomes what you're looking at Somebody now. Else, please. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Girl, I thought you said good coat. <laughs> no, 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 good coat. She's just tickles. Okay. Coming back, please. Come indoor. Take around, please. Have the Doberman out. <laughs> or needs mutton dog out, please. <laughs> Baskin Malamute. Boxer. Oh, the boxer. Did 
you to take your dogs around and free stack over there and then get back in line. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, these beautiful working dogs. Folks, coming up, best in show. All seven groups have been shown. Best in, best in show, folks. Stay right where you're at. It all comes down to seven dogs. <laughs> 